Hikari was a song that I'd been producing with singer Makoto and guitarist Luis Delgado uh, a while back. And it was sitting in my computer doing nothing when Randy Havens, he listened to it and he thought, you know, it'd be nice to make a music video, something other than hip hop, which he was already sick of doing. So we talked about uh, making a music video for this song. Uh, Randy as direct, he got me on board as producer. So we started making one of the biggest budget independent productions that I have ever worked on before. This video, um, I, I hated it at first, but now I really, really love it. I love it to death. That's a little overstated, but it, I think for 14 grand, we did a kick ass job. Um, this was very uh, story oriented. It was very, it was planned like two months before the shoot. I think why it worked was because we spent, you know, we really had a real camera package, although it's pretty basic, but we had, and we also had a big lighting package, a real 16 people crew, and a kick ass DP. And of course, a kick ass director. And a kick ass producer, too. So this Hikari production, although we had yeah. no really big uh, disasters, okay. it, it was riddled with small uh, problems that always came up here and there. Like for example, the first thing, uh, we've got this security guard telling us that we've got to leave, we can't film here. Uh, luckily, we had permits this time for most of our locations, so we had the law on our side. Um, I learned how much permits can do for us. <laughs> In the, in the past, without permits, we just have to say sorry and leave, but now we can negotiate. And right when we think everything's going fine, this is where our first big problem happens. Our camera break, breaks down, and we were stopped for like about three hours. And that really hurt because uh, our, our talent had to go to uh, work after this and everything. But, uh,. Three hours late, we start filming, and it seems as though everything's going fine. Okay, uh, great day today. No one got killed, no one got hurt, no one sued us. And, yeah. Now I get you to uh, Okay, you yeah. Do, you gotta do this. Yeah. No subpoenas. Yeah. 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 Morning, five o'clock in the morning. <laughs> this location here, this is one of the shots that really got me thinking about the difference between DV and film. Uh, no, no, in the past, no, no. I think, uh, Sorry. like each one in the front, we would have just uh, just took our DV camera, put it on auto, pressed record, and just done it. But with film, we've got all this big equipment, all these lights, people crossing the road at the same time. So we need to have two PAs at each end of the road, blocking off the traffic and making sure everything's safe, uh, making sure the expensive equipment doesn't get damaged, putting everything in sync. So it was a lot harder then. Roll Pass stuff. Sound. Roll camera. Call it. Right here, you can hear uh, the music is playing really weirdly. And what we did here was, we wanted this whole music video to be in slow motion. So, what we need to do in that case is, when the singer sings, we have her sing at double speed. So that when we slow it down, She's going to be singing in sync with the actual music. You can see what happens right here. Her mouth is completely li lip synced with the real, uh, with the real track, but everything else, the way her, uh, she walks, everything in the background is actually in slow motion. And so most of the song was shot like this. Oh, be careful with the table. <laughs> Food was another thing that I was pretty surprised with. This probably put a few hundred dollars, maybe even a thousand dollars on our budget. No, actually more. Maybe like maybe like two thousand um, dollars. I guess we'd miscalculated how much it would take to feed everyone, especially when we had so many people participating. Uh, that was like uh, 40 actors total, a 16-person crew. So that costs a lot of money every day. Alright, there. Question on the camera. And then tilt it. Yep, there you go. Okay, so this supposed to be ringing. Oh, you can see right here, this is Osvaldo with the Steadicam. This was a big lifesaver for our shoot, as you can see. It's, it's, an e it's a piece of equipment with a lot of uh, springs and balances and weights that makes the camera flow really smoothly. Usually, if you want to move the camera, you need to put down rails 
or you know get a crane or something and that takes a lot of time to set up but uh, when we use the steady cam we can get fluid uh, fluid motion all, all on a handheld shot well not really handheld steady cam shot so that was a big lifesaver I don't know how we could have done this without him ah, down lower do it again down lower go this uh, lip sync shot this is supposed to be one of the well it's supposed to be one of the best shots that we should get because this is our insurance shot whenever something goes wrong we can always cut to this uh, but unfortunately we it's got a few problems she's got a lot of zits and uh, the filming place was pretty tight so that really limited how to shoot okay yeah. keys are here now yeah <laughs> Man. About time. Man. Yeah, about time. And then uh, you wanted to take a sip? Is that what you want? What's that? You wanted to take a sip? This bar scene was also uh, pretty tough. Uh, first of all, this is a place that I okay, I'll, I'll I used to work in, so I was pretty nervous about getting the manager pissed off. And at the same time, Randy, he had a he had a hangover from the day before. You can see him right here, <laughs> which didn't really help. Okay, I'm ready. We need Six. To Here you can see the difference between what things look like on DV and film. Hey, <coughs> make out though. Let's make out. Huh? Oh. Yes, yes. It was just crazy having all these people make out here. I think there were, yeah, there were like the 30, 40 people here. And again, uh, it was my first time uh, being with so many people on location and getting everyone coordinated, everyone there on time, making sure everyone was happy. That that was a lot of work. Toward the, uh, toward the end was uh, this boyfriend scene. The whole gist of the story is supposed to be that Makoto, the singer, she's outside walking around seeing all these people make out, not feeling too good because she knows that her boyfriend's at home probably cheating on her. Um, this shower scene right here, this was one of, the, one of my favorite shots right here. You can see the water coming out of the faucet. Uh, this was shot at 120 frames per second, which is like... Uh, Five times, uh, one fifth of the speed of regular footage, and so we see everything coming out really slowly. Something you can never do on DV, which is locked at either 24 or uh, or 30 frames per second. And this is the last scene, the makeout scene uh, with her boyfriend who's cheating on Makoto. You can put it down with your other hand. Just do it as if you're. You know, she's pulling you, you're like, okay, hold okay. on, okay. I'm, I'm gonna, let me just put down my phone. Yeah. Okay, let's see it one more time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, hey, Jeremiah, so how was the shoot now that it's over? It was right. sweet. Oh, yeah? Well, it was yeah. Yeah. When we were, our last shot at the subway was the turnstile. And we had this like Rastafarian undercover cop, you know, just flashes the badge. Oh. You guys have a permit? And Randy, you were cool. You were just like, well, what did you say? I said no. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. I'll get out. <laughs> Whoa. God, look at these things all. 35. It's a pasta. It's going in. Hey. It's not started yet? Jeez, look at this guy. He's got it rolling like okay. before. I, I got to document everything. Crazy. So this is the telecenter room. This is uh, at the lab of moving images, a facility that develops film, uh, transfers it to video and everything. So this is the room uh, where we get to see the results of our film. It's the first time we actually see what we were shooting in the first place. And we do a lot of... Uh, they let us do a lot of very high quality color correction, uh, give it the type of desaturated feel that we were looking for. Uh, we asked the operator to make a sort of greenish, desaturated, sort of uh, surreal kind of look and I think uh, it looks pretty nice.